Three, two, one. Hi, this is Genesis, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. It's gold. But my ears can still hear, and my eyes can still see. The Bible also tells us to be swift to hear and slow to speak. You see, what you don't understand, thief, what you did is what my people deal with all the time. Someone cheating them from providing their greatness into the world. But it's a burden that we cut off only to make us stronger. I saw in the first fight where Ricky Haddon was pulling down your gloves to put your fist in an improper position. Y'all tried the same method the second time, but this time you scratched flesh out of my ears, which caused my ears to bleed. It's impossible for a brand new 10 ounce glove to bend, to keep a smushed in form, or to have loose space. I highly believe you put something hard in your glove, something the size and the shape of an egg weight. Here's the reason why the side of my face swelled up in an egg weight form. And it left a dent in my face as well. <laughs> but in the midst of it all, you still couldn't keep this king down. You would have had to kill me. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So Teofimo Lopez is just full of surprises, huh? You know, not too many high caliber fighters have come out and spoken on the whole Tyson Fury glove scandal. Tio is one of the few, and he completely disses the hell out of Deontay Wilder. He says, and I quote, I think Wilder had too much time on his hands. He needs to focus on his own damn self. Go back to the gym, get ready for your fight. Stop talking about a dent in your head. You're a grown ass man, stop being a B. Let me first start by saying this. It amazes me how when Deontay Wilder was silent and wasn't saying anything, Everyone was saying, I want to hear from Wilder. I want to hear what Wilder has to say. How come Wilder hasn't said anything about the gloves? How come Wilder hasn't said anything about the dent in his head? There were people even saying, if it were true, then Deontay Wilder would speak on it. As soon as Deontay Wilder speaks on it, they say the same things that they said before he spoke on it. Oh, stop crying. Oh, whatever. Just take the loss, etc., etc., etc. Right? Which we had already knew that they were going to do this anyway if Deontay Wilder spoke out. So you need to be careful what you wish for something else I want you guys to notice the majority of times boxing websites they won't even report on what Deontay Wilder or members of his team his brother they won't even report on what they say now some did report Wilder breaking his silence and talking about the glove scandal but a lot didn't and my point is the majority of people who don't report anything that Wilder says, they will only report when someone is dissing Deontay Wilder or when someone is defending Tyson Fury in this situation. So we know what time it is. The difference between old media and me, new media, is you guys are hearing the story from both sides. You're hearing what Deontay Wilder is saying. And you're going to hear what T.O. Fimo is saying, or you're going to hear what the WBC is saying when they're defending Tyson Fury. You're going to hear the whole story play out. But only thing I can say about T.O. Fimo Lopez, at least he's not afraid to speak his mind. At least he's willing to say the same things on the microphone that he would say behind closed doors to his friends. You know, a lot of people don't realize the whole reason why Deontay Wilder is talking about this right now is because he feels that Tyson Fury is trying to avoid the third fight. So Deontay Wilder is trying to force Tyson Fury in the ring. You know, it would be different if Deontay Wilder was making excuses for why he didn't want to fight Fury, but it's the complete contrary in this situation. Deontay Wilder's original plan was to get a signed deal to fight Tyson Fury first, and then he was going to release all of this information, release all the evidence of Tyson Fury cheating. But because Tyson Fury is now talking about no longer fighting Deontay Wilder, is leaving Deontay Wilder no choice but to air him out. And I keep telling you guys, this is gonna get a lot worse for Tyson Fury because I truly believe that there's a whole lot brewing when it comes to this investigation. I believe we're gonna find out a lot more about this in the months to come. 
But that's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. And payback is coming. Fellas, I've got some great news for you. If you've lost your hair or have a receding hairline, the time has come when you can finally get your hairline back through a process called scalp micropigmentation. So here's how it works. It's a hair tattoo that replicates the look of your hair follicles when you have fully shaved it down. Basically, you will end up with a haircut shape up or an edge up. What they do is they tattoo small dots that look like hair follicles in the areas where you have lost your hair and then blend it with your existing hair. You can even choose what type of hairline you want, hard shape up or soft and natural finish. And to maintain it, all you gotta do is shave your hair every few days, which is something you already were probably doing anyway. So if you wanna get this hook up for my brothers out there in the UK and Europe, make sure you check out the scalp disc on Instagram. And for my brothers out there in the States, make sure you go ahead and contact my man Scalp Carolinas on Instagram. And when you go on their pages, you can see for yourself what these guys look like before. I mean, these guys are literally hair magicians. I've never seen anything like this before, but all I can tell you guys is this is a serious game changer for us men. So make sure you get in contact with Scalp Disc and Scalp Carolinas on Instagram. What's going on guys? You know, I've always wanted to find a second source of income. And I've always wanted to learn about stocks and trades because I've heard so much good stuff about it. So I finally found a way to do it. And now I'm learning from six, seven, eight figure traders. So not only am I learning from them, but the most important thing is I get to copy their trade. So I get to earn while I learn. Now, if you want the full details, click on the link below. So you can learn while you copy and paste their trades. And just understand this guys, just by watching the video, you're doing a great job of supporting my channel and I appreciate it. And the craziest thing about doing this trading is you can do it anywhere. All you need is an internet connection and you could do it just with your phone. So if you want to learn how to make a second income alongside me without having to pitch, sell, or recruit, go ahead and click on the link below and I'll see you inside. You know, I always say on this channel, pay-per-view fights should actually be free. And now the day has come where I'm about to hook you up with an app where you can watch all your pay-per-view events, boxing, UFC, etc., for free. I want to introduce Block TV, the best internet streaming television app out there. They provide over 3,600 channels, including HBO, Cinemax, Showtime, and Stars. They have a massive video on demand library with over 40,000 of the new release movies and the latest TV series. And it also includes DVR. So you're getting all of this for $34.99 a month. And once again, that includes free pay-per-view. So this one right here is a no-brainer, guys, because back in Las Vegas, I was paying damn near 200 bucks a month for my cable. Those days are long gone now. So to get the app, make sure you guys go over to GetBlockTV.com and put in my promo code and get 30% off your first month. You also get a free month for every friend you refer. The promo code is DBNation.